Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with ebookreader.com. For this video I'm going to give you guys a look at the new Nook Touch with Glow Light. So this is it here on the left. It's distinguishable by this gray border it has around the outside. The old regular Nook Touch has the black border. So to turn on the uh, Glow Light you just hold the button for a couple of seconds. And it's also accessible in here in the menu. They've added a new little icon down here for it. See the old one, it, does, it doesn't have that option. You get the Glow Light sitting in here and then we've got the dial so you can adjust the brightness. I kind of like it about that brightness actually. Um, another way you can access the glow light without hitting that is you can hit the little icon up here and you can adjust it that way as well. Okay, so what the glow light is, uh, there's these little LEDs up here in the top. You can actually see them when you tilt it down. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. You can uh, see these little green lights in there. Um, and it has this anti-glare screen protector over the screen that sort of distributes the light evenly. Uh, it's mostly even. I don't know exactly if you're going to show it up on the camera here. It gets a little uh, dark, uh, brighter up here where the lights actually show. So that's like the one spot that it's a little uneven as far as the um, lighting goes. But otherwise it's actually really nice. I'm uh, really impressed with this lighting. This is where uh, e-readers needed to go uh, to move forward. They needed a light uh, for night reading and uh, the new note touch really kind of delivers on that. Let me show you what it looks like in the dark. So that's how it looks like in the dark, obviously. Um, like I said, you can adjust the brightness. It goes all the way down to really fairly on. So here's a look at the Nook Touch compared to the Sony PRS-1s. Um, this is the uh, light cover that has the built-in light, and it's got this little swivel up here. You can adjust the light over the screen however you want. So this is just kind of a look at the difference between the two. The Nook, it's definitely got more even light. The color is just sort of, I don't know, it's just sort of a cooler color. How it's lit around the screen instead of above the screen like this. Where it sort of fades at the edges and it's brighter in the middle. I don't know, it kind of definitely favors the Nook's light over the built-in reading light of the Sony PRS-T1. So, uh, like I was saying earlier, it's got this uh, uh, anti-glare screen uh, cover on it that uh, comes with it to help distribute the light for the glow lighting. It does kind of take away from the contrast just a little bit. Um, it's not going to be able to show up on the camera here. Let me try some close-ups. I'm not entirely sure if it'll uh, show up or not with the close-ups, but it's worth a shot. So this is the original Nook Touch on the right. And the Nook Touch with glow light on the left. Okay, so aside from the reading light, these two guys are pretty much exactly the same. The uh, new one, it's about half an inch or half an ounce lighter than the old one. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you can actually really feel the difference when you um, have them in hand. It definitely feels uh, noticeably lighter on the new, uh, newer Nook here. Uh, other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same from a functionality standpoint. We still have all the on-screen functions, the dictionary, the notes, and the highlights, and the sharing. Now if you hit this down here, you get your other options for the text adjustment and the table of contents. You can also look up the notes and your bookmarks in here. Of course, we've got search. Now you can enter a specific page to go into, and it also tells you how many pages you got left in the chapter right there, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we can also adjust the font type and the font size. Some different... Uh, font types over here. We've also got the different margins. You can turn on and off publish your defaults as well. And then if you hit up here in the little corner you've got that little nook icon. That's the bookmark. So you can add and remove bookmarks like that. Um, so these side buttons over here um, they're uh, the same as the other nook. Uh, they seem just a little bit easier to press than the uh, older nook which is kind of nice. This top one pages forward and this one pages uh, back, but you can go into the settings menu and change that up if you like. Over here in the reader options, you can invert those settings. Oh, here, let me show you a trick. If uh, so, the Nook it doesn't have a, a web browser. Um, it does have one, but there's it's not an official feature that you can access. Um, in one of the older firmware updates for the other Nook Touch, they actually removed access to it, but you can still get to it down here. Just hit Google, link to your account, and then hit um, Can Access Your Account. It's right here.
And from this page, hit Google Home down here. It's very at the very bottom in tiny letters. And that will actually open the web browser, so you can actually access the web browser if, by using this little trick right here. I'll show you the on-screen keyboard while I'm at it. So it works well. Not the web browser so much, I mean the, um, the keyboard. One thing that remains to be seen on the battery life as far as the, the Nook Touch with Glow Light here, uh, check out the ebookreader.com. I'll keep you updated. I'm going to do a test over the next couple weeks to, and measure exactly what the light usage is for the battery and compared to uh, the regular one over here, the regular Nook Touch without a light.